Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's Words of Wisdom. Uh, today's was sent out on September 12th, but it was used in the past, so I chose my own from this Kyoten, uh, The Human Condition. And it's from page 10, and I quote, The difference between animals and humans, faith and love. Thank you, Lord God. Alright, uh, the reason why I chose this as today's Words of Wisdom is because I feel this is related to the next year's Laws series that Master Okawa will be publishing and will be giving to us. Uh, the Laws of Hell. Next year is going to be the Laws of Hell. And in the Laws of Hell, uh, Master Okawa teaches us some frightening spiritual truth that it is very scary, and even and maybe in the Western world, uh, in the West, people don't believe that animals have souls, so it may be hard to accept, but that's the truth the Master has found out. And he's saying not only um, animals have souls, but sometimes, under certain conditions, uh, a human soul can be born into an animal body, or an animal. This is more scarier, but an animal soul uh, can be born into a human body, too. Uh, if you want to know more of the details, please uh, purchase and read this Kyoto and the Laws of Hell. But So going back to uh, today's words of wisdom, the difference between animals and humans, faith and love, it's really important for us, I believe, to know what a difference is from a human and an animal. And by, by knowing it with knowledge, it gives us this, like... Uh, a new form of gratitude of being allowed to be a human being. Uh, maybe some of you who are members, you have the prayer book, A Prayer of Thanks. And in it, in the very beginning, Master says, we are still human beings, we are now, uh, so we have mercies. So the fact that we can be a human being is something to be extremely grateful for. That's something that I learned uh, from these recent teachings. So then what separates an animal and a human? Master explains that that is faith and love. Faith means obviously being able to believe that's being being able to believe in something that you cannot see with your eyes, or being able to believe in the spirit world, or being able to believe in God and Buddha. That's faith. And love, love in the truest sense, not like uh, the preservation love, the preservation of the species love, but the love of overcoming that. And uh, the true form of love of being able to live for love and being able to live for the love of the world. That's something that only humans can do. Animals cannot think about those kind of things. So, uh, going back to today's words of wisdom, this means, if you, take, if you look at it from the flip side, if you don't have faith and if you don't have love, a human being can be like an animal. You can degrade your soul to a level and an animal. Uh, so the human condition, to be a human, the condition of being a human is uh, you have to have faith and you have to have love. Uh, I believe that this has, well, I mean, this has taught me at least uh, a new way, a new approach of why, to explain why faith and love is important. And that will be end for today. Thank you for tuning in and see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.